Welcome, Pipe Community, to another edition of Coffee in the Tin. And this is actually the first one that we record this year. This, you know what I was thinking about yeah. that. Yeah. Even though the other one came, you know, out this year, this is actually the first one that we record on 2023. And we've been a little under the weather, especially me, and in, in pain. So sorry, guys, that we've been kind of away from it. But we're trying to get back into it and do uh, do a blend. And today, I thought to do this one that came out pretty recent, Eccentric. We did the previous ones. Um, well, actually, we did the previous one, Ab Abram. Actually, I did. And it was a very, very, very good blend. Uh, this is the fourth one. What's the reason for the birds? I re you know what? I don't know. but Because I see like aberrant, uh, aberrant has yeah. a bird kind of weird looking. This one's pretty blue bird. I know. It's, and the other one's Uno was a bird. And then Whimsical was a bird. Then aberrant, mm. then eccentric. We didn't oh. do the first ones. Um, but I think it's a uh, birds of a feather. Birds of the same feather flock together or something like that. If you know, let us know, because he doesn't know, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to fake it no. till he make it. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, I'm serious. Then why are you also it's, right? It's like a birth of a birth, sure. birds of okay. a feather series. Yeah, sure. So they're all going to be birds. So there's six. So they're giving you the bird. No. They're In not. all different colors. No, there's going to be six no? of them. So this is the fourth, okay. the fourth uh, iteration of it. <laughs> well, I can tell this is going to be a fun episode already. All Sorry. right, it might be a 40 minute episode, but <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. And as always, um, you're gonna pop the tin. Sure. Just go right to it. Okay, I'm gonna go with my old equipment. Yeah. Since we moved here, I cannot find my new equipment. I mean, yeah, that's true. My new equipment. Yeah, so that's okay. Hey, a butter knife. There you go. Hey, Lordy. Okay, it's pop. Oh, it smells good. So this blend is by uh, here, George Jensen. Um, right. There's some kinds of videos of him in, in the interior. They're all very, very, very informative, guys. Mm. If you haven't seen, it's an excellent blender from McBaron, I believe. All right, go ahead. All right, so it is covered with little piece of plastic here. Oh, it has like the shape of, I, I would not say a brownie, I will say maybe a uh, beef jerky, but it's a little bit thicker. Uh, beautiful colors right there. Yeah, it's, I think uh, that's called a like crumble cake. Ooh, this smells strong. Like very, uh, yeah. I don't want to say leathery. <laughs> but hey, that, it, if it, it smells strong. like leather, then it's... Oh, no, but it has like, like... Let me see. I'm not bacon, but it is yeah, it's like a smoky... Yeah. I like it. That's your Although it's strong, I like it. That's your Latakia smell right ooh. there. Oh, yeah. They're not kidding. We haven't done recently many of these so maybe that's yeah. why you know what it doesn't have a lot on the on the package it's just like that piece this bigger piece and then some other pieces yeah yeah this is gonna take some kind of cutting down so that's oh, why yeah. I, I i knew what it was so i bought this little knife and we're gonna cut it down so while i do that um well let's let's go with the with the tin note what do you think so leatherly it has like a leather, smoky, okay. um, I love not it. like barbecue sort of. I just love it. I love that were smell. You, were you just uh, burning a fire, campfire? Yeah, yeah. It has all of those smells, like yeah. a little bit of everything. I love that smell. Pass me the uh, thing sure. there and I'm going to start kind of What cutting. is the thing? This thing? No, the actual... Uh, oh, okay. yeah. The cutting so board. The cutting board so we can, <laughs> we can cut. And go ahead and read us what it says there. Well, if I find it, I'll, I'll be happy to. But you know, when, when we were talking and laughing, I lost it. Well, but anyway, I found it already. All right. So, okay, here I'll we go. This one up. Eccentric. Latakia takes the front seat and makes itself present throughout the smoke. Red Virginia is the base component, combined with Caterini Orientals, adding a more subtle spice to the blend. A special Virginia is blended with light, burly tobacco. The first impression of this plug cut is a smoky note yeah I got that immediately with Virginia sweetness and spices from the Caterini tobacco all mixing for your pleasure yeah and I think when they maybe when they did the label maybe they were thinking it's a plug cut but this is definitely I would say it's more of a of a crumble cake really um, 
Show, show them there, show them in the camera a little closer. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just kind of divided it and that's what you get in yeah. the center. Um, it's it's kind of dry when I'm, I'm touching it right now. How about when you cut it up? Does it feel dry still? No. Does it have a little moisture? Yeah, there's a little moisture in there when, yeah, when you cut it up. Yeah, that's what I thought because yeah. if you kind of squeeze it, you feel that moisture hope, still in. I within. hope not, but this could be one that might be a little troublesome to keep lit. Oh boy. Uh, from, from but I wanted to stay lit. I know. <laughs> we wanted to stay lit, but uh, I don't know. It may not work out. It may not work out. We'll, we'll find out. I'm going to show it to you what so it looks like. Do you like. think that when they buy this kind of um, shape, should they cut it all up and, and store it? Or should they keep it the way it is right here? You can do it or either way. way. Some people like that it's pressed and they leave it like that and that's how they store it. Okay. Others just cut Does it. Does it lose, lose some of the moisture if you cut it? If you I'm pretty cut sure. it and don't store it correctly, yeah, it would definitely dry up a lot Ooh, sooner. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Let me see. There you go. There we go. So we have there some of the... The, the Virginia Burley thing that they did together. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Latakia, which is the main component here. And then also the, the Orientals, the Caterini, which is supposed to play a kind of a background grow, role here. We'll, we'll find out and see. Uh, How much is the... Is, is, uh, does it smell different to you there? Let me see. How much is, is the jar? Or not the jar, but the can, the tin. I think this tin was around $13. Mm. Uh, and it's still available. This one actually, we caught it and it's still available. Some of the other ones like this Aberrant is not available anymore. And actually I'm looking, you know, if anybody has um, Merkwood with, with the little label, I'm really interested in the little label that comes with Merkwood from the Country Squire. I'll trade you a tin of this for, for, uh, for the same quantity of that. Cause I wanted to try that one and that one is sold out. And so I won't be able to get my hands on it, but anyway. Well, it has not lost any of that fragrance, uh -huh, uh -huh. but it, it is still very powerful, very potent. Um, so the smell has not gone away. It still smells like campfire, uh, beef jerky. It's great. I love, I just, smoky. I yeah, just it's really love good. that smell. Yeah. Love that smell. All right, so uh, we have not smelled that in a while. Everything has been like sweet. Yeah, whatever this because is. we did all that Christmas and, and oh, stuff, that's so true. that's why we haven't had anything like this. And I think we missed that smell, right? Yeah, Christmas is over. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. It was I was I was getting there. By the way, stay till the end because at the end we're gonna give you a choice of two for you guys to vote to see what we're gonna do next. And uh, we definitely want to do one that you guys care for the most. I have a surprise for you because. I ordered these pipes, and um, I cannot say his name, so I'm going to show it. Uh, last name is. You Coke. can't say his name. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's from the Czech Republic, so I okay. don't I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Yeah, it's not that I can't say it; it's that I can't pronounce it. No. <laughs> Never mind. You didn't want to mess up. <laughs> but his uh, name. this is going to be one of the uh, pipes around the world that I'm going to do in this series. But but he uh, made one for out. you and one for me. Check out. The and have to tell you. He has not shown me whatever it is in there. <laughs> you, you really, really kept it a secret. I don't know. I, I asked him at the very beginning, what am I with you? Where's my pot? So and he's gonna like, be a that's surprise. a surprise. It's going to be and a I'm surprise, like, okay. yeah. So I'm going to put up the cup. I hope I'm happily surprised. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to try to get pipes from, you know, this, you know, Have art, you seen it? Artisancy. I've seen it. Oh, okay. Here that's, we go. This is his name. So that you guys, he does amazing, amazing work. Oh, he mean, has his signature on the back and everything. And he, um... If you find him in Instagram, just write those words that I showed you. Is Rock there, and roll pie. Is the Instagram there? Email has email. Okay. That's about it. All right, but if you put the the first, the, the name, you you find him on Instagram, and you can see all his pipes. And some of his pipes are just out of this world. But anyway, this is gonna be later on when I do Czech Republic. I'm gonna go more into detail. But today, I wanted to give her the one that that she's gonna smoke and it's and that's a, a late Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, this actually in, in half, this is a filter pipe. Yes. Would you like that? So I, I'm gonna give it to you and you can put it together and, uh, and oh, see really? it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> it gave it to me broken. Look at this little bag, it's pretty. Okay, I can't wait, let me see. I am not gonna talk no more, I wanna see this. Oh. I like. I love the stem. He I'll, does. I'll put it together. 
Okay. It was amazing. Work. Well, this is long. Yeah, just, yeah, because you like you say you in, like like in, that long, right. and let me make sure. So this the Do bit goes to right? the top. Yeah, you got it right. Oh, so it. show okay. them. Okay. Look at that. He does this amazing work, and I said, hey, make one that kind of goes with Lady Fire, and one that goes with Flat Cap Piper. And this uh, is beautiful. So he made you that one, and then he made this one for me. As you can see, the boxing is is great. The packaging. Uh, in the little socks, you know, very, very, very good job. And this one is mine. Mine is blue. Oh, you like the little ones? I know. Yeah, and I said, so make sure mine has a little bit of a, of, a, of a curve. So he did that for me. And it's also filter pipe. But great jobs, Mr. Cook. I think it's how you say his last name. Oh, man. The first name is very hard. How, I would how really would you think it was not expecting pronounce that. Dimki? Dimki? Where Cook? are you, sweetie? I can right here would it be dimki kunk I, yeah dimki kunk. kunk dimki kunk, kunk. okay or kunk i'm not quite sure i hope i'm not missing if you see this wrong. video i'm going to tell you uh, that i'm going to put this video out just correct me in how you say uh he, it's, yes it, please it's rock and roll and pipe that's what i said rock and roll and pipe you like that that's pretty cool all right guys so we're going to use this pipe to uh to light this up New pipes for the new year. And hopefully they'll it's the elite. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for the new year to start with new pipes. <laughs> All right. So the moisture, we're going to say, um, I'm going to say towards the dry side, you know, uh, because even though. You had a little moisture, but it wasn't a lot. Yeah, and, and just being here with the fan on, I mean, already, the time that we've been talking, it already feels dry, so. We're gonna stay on the dry side and then we'll see for reals. Um, okay, I'm gonna wait for you to smoke it so I can give you my yeah, my yeah. expert yeah. opinion. I'm using this lighter again. I haven't received the other one. I'm waiting so I can do a little review on this lighter there from also overseas. Oh, it's right. just not long enough. It's know. not hitting the. That one's not working out. Because it's deep, deep, yeah. See, the, the bowl is deep, so you need to put quite a bit on it. Oh, man. I'm hearing some music. Somebody singing. Is that somebody singing? <laughs> like like a person? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> Can you guys hear? <laughs> it's a girl. Is she singing out in the pool and we can hear? She's probably in the balcony. We have our, it is cold over here, guys. So yes, you can tell by our As you can tell by our tire. And so we decided, oh, you know, uh, well, I'm kind of like, you know, it's cold. This turn, you know, open the. <laughs> open the balcony. Let's open the balcony. <laughs> I'm going to close the balcony in a second. Um, she's really into it maybe we should bring her over so she can sing for you guys you know what i think that's the national anthem she's singing the national anthem. yeah well the uh, miss america it was the united states star spangle maybe that's what she's watching could be miss usa was miss was, USA was yesterday no, was it? miss universe was yesterday yeah miss USA, U yes, USA, won. usa won yeah of course all right so I'm gonna take a little break, we'll be right back. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna shut her up. <laughs> okay, so the girl stopped singing, I'm, I'm guessing. She stopped singing because I went over there and smacked her. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a video here. No, I'm and we got a time to, to get the pipe started. It was a little difficult at the beginning, but then after a few lights and some t tamping. Some patience. Yeah, uh, it got going. How are you liking your new pipe? It is really pretty. It is really pretty, and it smokes really well. Mm -hmm. um, I like it that it's long. Yeah, so because the smoke the, the is not doesn't your face. To, mm -hmm. It doesn't hit my face. Um, but this is one of those that you can pack for quite some time because the bowl is really deep. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this one is super comfortable, and that's why I told him to give me a little bit of a bend because for me, you're see, a clencher. I'm a clencher. I can talk. I can walk. And the way he did the bit, guys, um, look at, let me see how, okay. He does it with like a little bend. You see that? 
and that just works out really well for the clenching too. It's mm. very comfortable. Yours did the same. He did. Yeah, yeah he did. And uh, that's just falls perfect. So kudos on that, Mr. Cook. Um, rock and roll and pipe. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling that. <laughs> you know, look at this. This actually goes with the century. Oh yeah, it does. We, we, we Perfect. Might, we you might, paired it up good. We might do a little picture thing that you sometimes do really mm. pretty like that. That's that's we gonna could. work. We yeah, you're good at those. All right. So flavor. I'll go first. I am. I, I can taste the little spices of the Caterini. The Orientals give you a little bit of a spice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're tasting it. I'm also tasting almost like an incense kind of vibe here. By the way, the smoke is more outside because yeah. it doesn't have any fragrance. Yeah. It doesn't have those top, those, those sweet toppings that yeah. we've been having. Room note. Is it room note? It's, it's, outside. It's an outside. Outside smoke, for sure. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me about the flavor. So I told you what I what I got pretty much so far. Well, a little I bit of incense, a little bit of, of, of spiciness. Like I've been struggling to get mine to light up. I mean, this is like my third time. So, okay. um, so far is, is, is maybe a little bit of tapping. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, it is not very strong. Uh huh. It's not, it doesn't have that peppery. Um, like, like you're talking about the, the pre. Yeah. Like, yeah, like it doesn't have any peppery no. bad, um, lingering bad taste in your palate. It's just really not. It, to me, it's been soft, so so it's like a softer yeah. smoke, and it's not that. Even though I was probably expecting a lot because of the smoky. The yeah. smell was very strong. Very, very, uh, La Takia makes it smoky, yeah. Yeah, so I was expecting, like, oh my god, I cannot. It's a smooth smoke. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. far. Yeah. But I'm still, I'm still working on. Definitely, this yeah. one is not going to bite you, so. For you guys that don't like that tongue yeah, bite, this, it doesn't at all. With the Larakia that it has and the that kind of the Virginia Burley mix, um, is very well blended, so you won't have to worry about any biting you at all. Mm -mm. More for you English kind of smoker. Uh, don't expect people to love this smell around you unless yeah. unless they're pipe smokers. Very smoky as you can see. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of nuttiness. The more I smoke it, the more I, I, I'm picking up flavor, but they're all pleasant flavors, tobacco flavors, nothing artificial, nothing weird. It's, it's good stuff. It is. Wow. So eccentric wasn't as eccentric. It was actually- Very mellow. Very mellow. <laughs> very mellow. Maybe eccentric for somebody that that uh, that is not used to smoking Latakia and all that. But so I noticed with this lighter, as you keep smoking there, that um, this might be better for a, 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 a wider a yeah. wider bowl. A wider, not so deep. Yeah, for this. This yeah. one is deep and it's so, narrow. Yeah. And so what happened was, you know, you almost have to put it, do it backwards like that. Mm -hmm. to get it going so it's it's kind of doesn't pair very well with with this type yeah, of yeah you need something that of narrow pipe yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. or is the other one that you utilize for that well i like this ones because they yeah, go straight, one straight down, and so. this one's actually with the soft flames are just great so yeah either one unless you fill it up all the way to the top yeah we we didn't actually no i did kind of a three-quarter feel on this one and i don't know how how about yours you did about three quarters because mm -hmm. this is quite a they might they might surprise you but this bowls actually can take quite a bit of oh yeah you can smoke for for a while with it very easy uh i'll say this can be an all-day smoke for someone that just i mean if you don't care about the smell of course because the smell is kind of a little strong but in terms of being easy all day smoke yeah i don't know if the pipe has anything to do with the smoke but it's a very smooth smoke yeah very smooth yeah and I think in terms of the strength, not the nicotine, but you know, in terms of flavor, this most people will put this at the medium what? because it does have, you know, quite a few things. Has the Virginia Burley, has the yeah. so it yeah. has something where some of it you don't can't even taste the tobacco. This one you can. But like you said, you know, you have a great pipe there. 
and uh, it's probably feeling very smooth to you. Plus, it does. It is not getting hot. That's another thing. Well, no, I don't know if it's because. It's well, it's a little warm, but it's not. It's yeah, not and, hot that you cannot. Yeah, and take mine is it. not not at all. Like, um, the Larakia helps a lot with that for sure. Helps a lot with that. All right, so. Mm. Mine is still on. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took a while until it lit up, mm -hmm. but now it's, it's going. Yeah, I love, I mean, I know not everybody loves this smell, but I love it. And like you said, I kind of missed it because we've been doing some aromatics and I missed this kind of... Smell. Yeah, which... I loved it from the can. It's like, oh. Yeah, which some people I know hate, especially if you're a non-pie smoker. This is not the smell you want to smell, but... I love it. That campfire smell just gets me. Oh. So are you ready for a verdict? I am I, ready. I put this here for you. Oh, thank you so much. So you could put it there. There we go. Yeah, this is long, so oh, yeah, it fits. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Just you can just stick it in there. All right, ready? I'm One, ready. two, three. Two thumbs up. You want to go first on the stars, or you want me to go? What did you go last time? I went first last time. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go first. All right, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna give it a three point. Okay. Be just because I prefer um, that the, the, the toppings now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, three point seven five. Can I give it three point seven five? Yeah, you can I'm do gonna it. I'm gonna put three point seven five. Right. I give it a four because I do like uh, to have my little toppings there, my little smells. A little bit smell softer, better. Okay. Or you know, like a potpourri sort of thing. But I'm a girl. Can you blame mm -hmm. me? Um, <laughs> but I love the smell on this one. Smoking it was super smooth. It surprised me. Mm -hmm. It just really took me by surprise. I was expecting a bomb in my mouth and, and, and a lot of spice and, and, and for me not to be able to continue smoking it. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I can smoke it all the way to the end. I'm fine. Um, I'm not sure if it has enough kick for some people. Mm -hmm. I find it like a, a smooth smoke and that's why I probably give it 3.75. Mm -hmm. I think that someone that prefers a little bit of more of an oomph, oomph yeah, they, to a, a, a little kick. They might have to add something to it. They may have to mix it with something else mm -hmm. or um, yeah, 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 you're right. They may need to add it to something else and that will be a little bit better for them. But for people like me at 3.75, I loved it. I, I think it's a great uh, blend. Very well blended, very smooth. Um, I, I could put it in my rotation. I could smoke it anytime. Mm -hmm. To be quite honest, they did a great job. 3.75 for you. So I'm going to give it four stars. And uh, I would give it even higher if it was one of those that it lit right away. Um, I like things that light up right away. I'm sorry. Um, this one takes a little more work, you know. And of course, it comes in the cake. You have to cut it up and all that. But a four is not a bad score. We score this out of five. Um, it is very easy to smoke, uh, no tongue bite, uh, no, smooth. No, no. I, I think it's that around the medium range when it comes to strength and um, even nicotine. You, you might be surprised, you might get more later. But like she said, if you want something stronger, you would have to add some dark fire Kentucky or something else if you wanted to, <clears throat> to really hit home or some rustica. Uh, that would really make it stronger. But just like it is, it's great actually i think they did a great job at blending uh, so far the two that i've reviewed aberrant and eccentric are, are very good i you can have either of those and they they have been i'm i'm expecting good things from the last two because so far the two that i've tried um have been very very good so 4.0 for me 3.75 for me yeah that's a so if you score. see there's red bird or you see this bluebird Go yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Oh, but you said that they are out of aberrant. So yeah, yeah, there it's, it's it's a little harder to find now. I bought I bought quite a few, so maybe I'm I'm part, I'm part of the problem. But I'm sure other people <laughs> did too. <laughs> uh, I didn't do that with a sentry. I didn't want to be mean, so I uh, I bought less of that. Well, it was good. It's good. Yeah, good stuff. So, uh, and the last thing, obviously, uh, it's not an inside smoke. Sorry, guys, it's gonna be something outside or. Unless you live on your own. Only you, you live you your own, then you smoke it wherever you want. That's <laughs> right. So, let's show you what we have for next time. Yes, it's voting time. It's voting time. It's voting and time. Get ready. You have less than a week, really, because we like to prepare these videos ahead of time. So, 
and less than a week you gotta vote so this also came out very very recent can they see it there good lord i think they can i think plum rum from cobblestone ah oh. and this one is let me see gherkin gurkha urban legends and gurkha is known for the cigars i thought it was cool looking and i read about it and it looks like a like an interesting blend so there you go you have those two to pick from okay. just put your vote either put uh plum rum or gurkha or urban legend whatever you guys remember out i'm sure I'll, i can figure it out and whatever gets the most votes don't that's what be we do shy. next time don't be shy we need, we need you guys and also when you comment it lets us know that you're watching us that you're you know that you like our content and that makes us want to do more right that's right so what do you got there? Is that some coquito version? That looks good. That's an eggnog oh, version. Oh, the, egg, the eggnog, okay. Yeah. Mm, that looks good. I'm gonna have some as soon as we get done. <laughs> Another thing is, uh, of course, we're gonna keep doing this. Maybe we'll do it a little more sporadic. And it looks like we might we might be getting rid of some pipes. So we're gonna have some, maybe some cells of pipes that I have. Some are brand new that I have never used. Some are used and they're gonna be all kinds of price ranges from probably as cheap as, I don't know, 15 bucks to uh, as expensive as, I don't think I'll sell for nothing more than $200. But anyway, we'll see, we'll see. But- um, It better not be the ones I get. No, 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 no. Those are, those are the brand new ones. The ones that are gonna go more expensive are the ones that I've never smoked, that I bought and I never smoked. So, uh, but if they're gonna be way less that I, that I paid, it's gonna be a deal for you guys. If you're interested in that, also write on the comment below. We can do it probably a live. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Um, or you can let us know what you're looking for and see, mm -hmm. we can see what yeah, we have. Yeah, so I'm gonna start going through the boxes and kind of bring down my collection a little bit. Um, for the ones that don't know, we moved from a house to an apartment and so we're finding all kinds of things that we kind of have to to you know kind of uh, how you say we that? need to reduce storage there you go yeah <laughs> reduce storage because yeah it's we're using three storages in this place three storages so we we, we, we gotta maybe narrow it down to two to at least two to at least two yeah well have a great rest of the year i uh, hope to see you a little bit more maybe we'll go to one of the pipe shows uh chicago is the one that's looking right now like the one the that possibility. We, the possibility. So ah, let us know if you're going to Chicago and yes. if you have gone to Chicago before, how it was for the yes. experience. And then, of course, we want to meet you there. So, so until next time, I say bye, and you say stay lit. <laughs> Subscribe, give a thumbs up, send us your love. Later. Bye. bye.